What are the four very important things to know before getting solar quotes? We'll be answering this question in today's video. Let's get started. Hi everyone, Martina with Solar Time here, and I've been part of the solar industry for over 13 years now. I know, I started when I was a kid, it's a family business. But I hope I can help you by sharing my knowledge. So, in this video, I'll cover a few simple things that will help you get the most accurate solar quote. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave the comment down below. This helps me tremendously with the YouTube gods. So, how to get that accurate quote? Number one, usage data. We want bills, and lots of them. A reputable company that cares to design a proper system for you will always ask for bills. Not just an average bill, but ideally full 12 months of consumption data. Oftentimes, homeowners will provide a simple answer like 250 bucks on average, or my home is 2,500 square feet. Why is this not enough? Well, if you tell me you pay 250 bucks per month, I don't know if that's at 10 cents or 25 cents per kilowatt hour. At those rates, it could be 1,000 kilowatt hours or 2,500 kilowatt hours. Ring a bell every time you hear me say kilowatt hours. <laughs> that's a huge difference. Your quote should be based on annual kilowatt hour consumption. Ideally, if you could also provide your rate per kilowatt hour, then the representative should be able to tell you what your return on investment is. I know sometimes this can be annoying to download all the bills and send them over, but if you're already considering spending money on a solar system, do it right. Second, let's talk about your home electrical system. The number one area for surprises is with the home electrical system. I cannot stress this enough. And especially with big national companies, they will often send you a quote and then when their subcontractor gets there, they'll say, oh well, you need a sub panel and a whole home disconnect and a meter upgrade. This will be an extra $5,000 before we can proceed. You don't want that. <laughs> Those may in fact be needed, but we want you to have that figured out way before the install date. So do send those pictures over when you want to finalize the quote with the company you're working with. One that shows the whole panel, one that shows the label of the panel, and one a few feet away so we can see the area surrounding the panel. This will show us, or your installer, if the main panel needs to be upgraded or if any other electrical work is needed. Number three, let's talk about the future. Do you plan to have an electric car in the future? Do you want to add a hot tub? Are you planning to have more kids? This is very important information to share so we can design a system that will meet those electrical needs. Sure, with most solar systems, it's pretty easy to add more panels in the future, but while you're at it and getting that 30% tax credit of the whole shebang, you might want to consider how much you want to offset your bills now and in the future. It would stink to have this beautiful installation on your roof covering all of your electrical needs and then add electric car in a year and find out that you still have to pay some more electric bills. Number four, bonus info. Let's open the can of worms. That is the battery. Batteries are very nice, but they can be expensive, especially if you want to do whole home battery backup to run your AC in a Texas summer. So should you even consider getting it now? Let me put it this way. For a small battery that will back up a few circuits, not including HVAC, don't even hope, it's gonna be at least $17,000. If you want a whole home battery backup with the ability to run your air conditioner, you're starting out at a minimum of $40,000. And that solely depends on your usage. I explain it more in my battery backup video. Make sure to check it out. This is another reason why sending your bill is super important. If you're getting a battery, look at your daily consumption. Is it 20 kilowatt hours or is it 90 kilowatt hours? Battery backup needs to be sized properly too. Now, could you start smaller? Sure, but batteries are so in right now, especially with the changes in the climate, the grid not keeping up. There's so many upgrades and updates to existing battery systems that you might spend a whole lot of money right now, but you might get something much more powerful next year. Keep in mind that the battery can always be added later. Any solar system can retrofit a battery to it. 
Also, another thing that is getting really big now are vehicle to grid and vehicle to home. Remember that future EV I mentioned earlier? There is a very good chance that that EV battery will be your backup battery for your home one day. So if you don't experience a whole lot of outages, maybe hold off on that battery for now. That concludes today's video. I hope this information was helpful. And if you have any questions or even would like for me to help design your solar system, I can send you a sample code. It's totally free. I can help you find a local installer near you. Just make sure to contact me. Information is down below. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.